The Coalition for Reforms and Democracy has questioned how Aidan Duale and Johnson Sakaja came about the information that the Okwa Kenya signatures, which should be in the sole custody of the IEBC, are fake. Court co-principal Kalonzo Musyoka says it smells suspiciously of a plot by the ruling coalition and IEBC to use it as an excuse to ensure the initiative is quashed in its formative stages. In the days after the last visit, the IEBC has chosen to speak to us through Jubilee leaders, elements of Jubilee leadership, claims that the Okoa Kenya signatures were fake and inadequate. The signatures have been submitted solely to the IBC and not shared with any other entity or person. Yet, here were our rivals, Aden Duale and Johnson Sakaja, speaking authoritatively on a matter being handled by a different and supposedly independent institution, the IABC. To date, the IABC has not said a word on those claims by the Jubilee leaders. And the IABC, which was supposed to get back to us in 10 days from the 16th of February, is yet to speak, even to speak to us. The former Premier Raila Odinga therefore wants the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission to come out clearly on the status of the verification exercise. He says they will not issue any ultimatums to the Commission except to urge it to stay true to the expectation of independence. We are telling IBC that they must not allow themselves to be the vehicle of the Jubilee, the way things look, seem to be uh, appearing. This is what we are saying. I'm Olive Barrows for Capital TV.